Hey there, what's going on guys? So we got Joe here again, uh, Not So Slim Pickin'. Thanks for coming by the channel, I appreciate it. Uh, so we're Friday, we made it to the weekend. Uh, I've got four orders so far going out today that I sold today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw those in this little video I'm gonna do today. Uh, I got some things I'm gonna show you. So as you know, in my past videos, I was able to pick up uh, from a coworker of mine who was selling his old GoPro Hero 5. Uh, I was wanting to start using a GoPro uh, for some of my YouTube videos. Um, it's really the best thing to kind of use when you're trying to get out there and film some stuff. Uh, but I need to start taking a GoPro when I'm doing my sourcing at yard sales and so I can show you guys what exactly I'm doing. So this is probably the third time now that I've used it. I'm still figuring this thing out and I'm still learning stuff with it. But I think I was able to finally uh, get the color uh, because if you looked at my last video, color just looked kind of flat. I was able to change the color. The setting I think looks a lot better. So we're kind of doing a little test video here showing you uh, just kind of the difference here. And uh, it really, it's for me too, because I want to see what this looks like when it's all said and done after I edit everything. Uh, I changed the sharpness in it. Still figuring out the setting of things, but boy, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I still like using the iPhone and everything too, but um, GoPro, just they just really do a good job of making it easy. Um, and just a small compact camera. Uh, there's just so much stuff you can do and I haven't even hit the uh, you know tip of the iceberg yet or, or wh whatever the saying is. So uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, so first thing I want to do is there's a couple of things I want to show you guys. Um, kind of my new setup. Uh, what I'm going to be using when I'm outsourcing. Uh, what I kind of took from and what I've learned from watching other guys on YouTube with other resellers on YouTube, what, what they do and how they wear their GoPro, the direction they point the camera, uh, that kind of stuff. So um, I think what I decided, a couple different things that I bought, um, and I didn't spend a lot of money on it either, uh, which, you know, Amazon has great prices on things. Uh, they get pretty good quality product. Um, so I wanted to uh, wear like the backpack uh, type of thing. So I didn't want to wear like a whole backpack out when I'm sourcing because I just don't need to. Even if I don't have anything in it, I just don't really need to be wearing a big backpack. Um, so I wanted to get a sling backpack. Um, and Amazon has a lot of them. So I got this backpack here. Um, and another thing, you're kind of going to see me looking down a little bit. I'm using my GoPro, but what's neat is you can connect the iPhone to the GoPro so I can see everything on my big iPhone screen here, what I'm filming while I'm talking to you guys. So uh, I'm just trying to make sure I get everything in the frame here. So I got this sling backpack. I don't remember exactly what the name of it was. It kind of had a weird name to it. Uh, but it's it's one of the higher selling ones on eBay. Or I'm sorry, on Amazon. Uh, but what I like about it is that it's got tons of pockets, obviously. Well, there you go. There's something that I'm going to need to figure out. Uh, I guess whenever I say there's certain... If I say the name of this camera, like uh, it has voice activation stuff. Whenever I say go... Pro and something but I guess I somehow made its bookmark and stopped recording uh, so what I was talking about there's a good price on this stuff on on Amazon uh, so this is sling backpack has a bunch of pockets in it I'm gonna keep all my uh, GoPro gear in here uh, and I'm gonna use it uh, just like if I need to change out a battery the SD cards the attachments and stuff that I'm gonna be using quite frequently I also have some of my IKEA bags in here if you're a reseller you know about the IKEA bags big huge bags sometimes you need to carry a bunch of stuff they fold up real nice I got an Ikea bag in here I also have one of my smaller bags in here uh, but this one is flip up you can have headphone things in here a uh, bunch of different pockets there's a side pocket there's hidden pockets on the inside there's another pocket back here like I said tons of pockets it's got the strap where I can hang it or whatever grab it real quick um, but and then here's the backpack attachment that I'm going to be using so I'll take it off real quick. Uh, but I have this now. Remember, my name is not so slim picking. So I'm not very slim. That's the idea of my name. I'm also six feet six inches tall. So I'm a big dude. I've got broad shoulders. Um, <laughs> they don't make backpacks uh, pretty much for, for guys my size. Uh, so I've got this all the way as big as it can go. And my wife was kind of making fun of me a little bit because... Not like it looks small on me, but I mean, 
I'm working with what I got. If I find something later on, I'll use it. But I, I spent, I, this is 25 bucks. 25 bucks on Amazon. Um, it was a great deal. So just how it goes. You sling it over yourself like this. Uh, it hangs on the side. I got my backpack attachment. It's going to go right here, right in the center of my chest. This spins like that. I'll have the camera on me. It points down. I already tested it out. This is going to work great. So I'm very, very happy with this. When you're walking and everything, the uh, GoPro has the video. So after this video, I'm going to turn off that uh, the voice activation stuff on this thing because that's the third time now that I've done it. So as I was saying, I think this is going to sit well. I mean, I'm sitting down, so it looks kind of funky now. But uh, uh, this is going to work very well for me. Um, it has a stabilization, so it's not going to look too bouncy or anything when I'm uh, walking and that kind of thing. So... Uh, and it was great if I need to put anything in there or need to get a bag or whatever I can put it in here uh, so yeah this is gonna work really well I'm very happy with this so I'm gonna turn the camera off real quick and I'm gonna show you one other attachment that I bought today alright so here's the other thing that I got today um, so as you know in my basement here where I do all my eBay stuff I don't have good lighting down here uh, part of the reason why is uh, it's just older light fixtures and they work but they don't work too bad enough for me to feel like I need to replace them all. Uh, eventually, that's probably something I want to do, but I'm not in any big hurry to do that, obviously. So, what I did is I purchased a light for the GoPro. So, this is actually for like scuba diving because you know, with uh, this camera, you can take it, uh, it's waterproof. You can just put it right into water uh, and you can go, you know, when you're scuba diving, you're fishing or whatever, you don't have to worry about it getting wet. Um, but, like, this light. Uh, I got this on Amazon is also waterproof there's a gasket inside here it's pretty cool lift that up this is where the two double batteries are right there there's two double batteries that you recharge right here and they have indicator lights and everything it's got a nice gasket right around the latch right here uh, so yeah I mean you can take this uh, when you go you know diving or, or whatever it is that you're wanting to do with it but i mean I'm, obviously i'm not doing that i figured it'd be a good thing to have just in case if i ever want to take it underwater when i'm on vacation or something like that um but let's check out how bright this light is so this is the first brightest one yeah super super bright i was just using this uh not this bright one setting but i was just using this just a second ago in my video uh and it has a lower setting and uh but i mean it, it works very very well i'm very happy with it and then it has like a strobe setting. I don't really know what you use that for, but it has a strobe setting. Uh, but it's got the mounts on the top and bottom here. So you can put the camera on the top or on the bottom or however you want to do it with all your other uh, GoPro attachments. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is very cool. So I'm going to test this out when we pull our orders here real quick. And we'll see if it does a pretty good job and if we'll be able to see everything. But I think we got the color fixed. I think we got the sharpness fixed. And now I think we got the lighting fixed. So, yeah, highly recommend these two products. Got this one on eBay. I think I got this on eBay. I did. I want to say I got it for, maybe it was Amazon. Now I don't remember. But I'm sure you can find it on either one. Um, but I paid a little over 20 bucks for this. And it came with two batteries. It's very nice. I really uh, recommend this. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and pull some orders. And uh, that'll be it. Uh, so yeah, let's get busy. Actually. All right, first item going on. I sold some beer cans. So uh, it's this one right here. Uh, I sold it for sixteen dollars plus shipping. Uh, so as you know, I'm into these beer cans for five cents a piece. Uh, they are there's nine of them in the box. So I've got forty five cents in this box, and I've actually already made my money back on them. Um, but this sold for $16 plus shipping. All right, next item, I sold a DVD. And I think it's in here. Whoa, that's my Al Pacino. Yeah, that's about all, <laughs> all I really know. So I got Scent of a Woman. I got this at the yard sale a long time ago. I think I have less than a dollar into this. Uh, but it sold for uh, $2.99 plus shipping. My next item is an L. I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy out right here. It is this guy right here. 
got this at a Goodwill. I think I paid $2 for it. It's a Homedix Deep Sleep White Noise Machine. Had good comps on this. Uh, I had it listed for over $30. I know I was asking kind of high for it, uh, but it sold for $20 plus shipping. And last item going out was this Simpsons board game. Uh, this is actually a board game that I had since my childhood. Uh, whenever I moved, bought a house and everything, uh, I just took it with me. Uh, but yeah, so it's the Simpsons board game, Mystery of Life. Pretty cool game. I remember being kind of fun when I was little. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's weird to think the Simpsons are still like a thing. It's like the longest running TV show ever, I think. Anyway, but this sold for $13 plus shipping. All right, guys. Well, thanks for coming by the channel today. I really appreciate it. I hope you like the stuff that I showed you. Um, I'm, if I can figure out how to put the links uh, to purchase them in the description, I will do that. Uh, so, yeah, that's my, the stuff that I'm going to be using when I'm sourcing this weekend. Um, hopefully, we'll have a good uh, haul this weekend when I'm going out to my yard sales uh, and have some new footage and everything, something different uh, to offer on my channel. Uh, and that's all I have for you today, guys. Please enjoy your weekend, all right? Come back and see me again. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.